on Yeah, I'm strapped in Stuck in a song You can't turn off Like a merry-go-round My head is spinning I see you rapping about I'm sure as hell Hi guys and welcome to Motor Beam. You might be wondering what am I doing with a cycle when Dhanil has been riding it in the start of the video. Well, he's over here, extremely tired in spite of having pedal assist. What happened? Where's your favorite Honda? Well, it seems he's happy. So let's get started with this video review of this cycle. So now let me tell you more about this cycle which has an electric motor. The electric motor is 250 watts. It gets a lithium ion battery which is 500 watts. And yes, this looks like a conventional cycle but is made of very high grade material because this is aero grade aluminium. The design might not impress you because this looks like a conventional cycle. In fact, the tires are also so small that you won't really look at it with great attention. However, build quality is very good on this cycle and fit finish levels have nothing to complain about. At the front, you get an LED headlight which isn't very useful at night, but it gets an instrument cluster which is loaded with a ton of features for a cycle. So right from an odometer to total calories burned and how much time you have ridden the cycle for along with the average speed, the maximum speed, the total trips you have undertaken as well as the battery voltage and the battery percentage is shown over here. It also shows you the time as well as telltale lights on the top because you can get notifications from your phone because it connects to the T-Bike app. That's not all, it also gets a speedometer along with four modes for the pedal assist system 0, 1, 2, 3. Higher the mode, the later the battery kicks in. Meanwhile, in zero, you can get battery power right from get go by using the throttle which is placed over here. All you need to do is press it and there you get power. This battery gives it a range of almost 50 kilometers and you can simply remove it by turning the key knob towards the left and taking it home to charge it as well. The electric motor gives it brisk performance when you get going from a start. However, once you're pedaling, you really don't realize immediately if there's electric power coming in when you get onto the throttle. Top speed, what we achieved on this cycle is 35 km per hour, but its sweet zone is between 25 to 30 km per hour. Yes, on down slopes and heavy pedaling, you can get going faster, but on up slopes, this cycle actually struggles a bit. And if there's a heavy gradient, you have to shift using the six-speed Shimano gears and obviously, the lower the gear, the faster you can pedal. But in higher gears, once you get past a particular speed that is around 28 km per hour, the pedals become free and don't really assist the electric motor in going any faster or boosting the range of the cycle. Well, if you decide to get fit and not use the electric motor at all by pedaling yourself, it actually charges the battery, although by a minuscule amount. However, for that, you have to turn on this cycle. Otherwise, if the cycle is turned off, you can still pedal it like a normal cycle. Unlike Dhanil's Honda Activa, this one actually gets front telescopic forks, which are effective, but there's no rear suspension at all, so ride quality isn't that great. Meanwhile, this cycle misses out on a front disc and gets V-shaped front brakes. Stopping power isn't great at the front, but the rear gets a disc, which is offering effective stopping power. Handling isn't that great either, however, this cycle is easy to ride, it's nimble as well, but it is heavy at 25 kgs without the weight of the battery. While the ergonomics are good and the seat height can be adjusted, you need Allen keys to move it up or down, and this seat is a bit hard for my liking. The good thing about this cycle is that it's a unisex cycle, so because of the slanting frame, anyone can actually ride it. 
the only storage space on this cycle is the gap over here where you can keep a 1 litre bottle quite comfortably. It's quite fun to pedal this cycle hard and fast and use the electric motor to get to a speed of 35 km per hour but beware this doesn't get rear view mirror so you have to be careful on open roads and the other problem is that if a car passes by you fast then it can actually rattle this cycle. It doesn't have great high speed stability. So for a price of rupees 55,000, does the Tron X cycle make any sense to purchase? Well, it depends on how you look at it. It's not going to replace your two-wheeler for the daily commute, especially not your scooter because scooters are obviously more practical, they are faster and stuff like that. But this cycle is for those who are fitness enthusiasts who want to go long and when they get tired, they don't have to stop on the road. All they do is use the electric motor to get ahead further. So definitely a great effort by the company to make a product like this but we feel certain aspects can improve it even further like a rear suspension and a front disc and probably even a better or bigger battery. Thank you so much for watching this video guys if you liked it give it the thumbs up that's the like button and also subscribe to the motor beam channel and now i will leave the cycle to dhanil so he can pedal all the way wherever he wants to go meanwhile i prefer to walk actually i don't prefer to walk i prefer to take his activa and get going bye bro where's the helmet <laughs>